right, everybody. We are here in Newton, North Carolina for the world title defense. Charles Withers defending the world heavyweight title against the Southeast champ, Nick Christie. This match has been taking place during the gauntlet. They are currently finishing up uh, their round of eight. But uh, we are finishing up practice now. We're go to uh, go to get started. Our world heavyweight champ, Charles Withers, goes by Juice. He's going to start us off here on lane three. Strike for Juice, get us started. Juice got a little bit of experience bowling uh, at this house today. Juice was, uh, his team bowled in the gauntlet. Um, they were eliminated earlier. But he at least got some games in on this pair, or not on this pair, excuse me, on, on this shot in this center. Nick Christie, Southeast heavyweight champ. Trying to become a world champ for the second time. All right. So another, another strike from Nick, Nick to get started here. So both guys, they struck a lot in practice as well. They're lined up, they're ready to go. We should have a very high scoring affair here. Nick bowled the PBA regional. So he was bowling that today while Juice was here bowling at the gauntlet. That's kind of why they're giving Nick a hard time. He's got some dress pants on. Cause he's also said he's, he's all business. No pleasure today, so we'll see how this how this goes for us. Nick leaves a ten pin here. Shrimp Shady is one of the many nicknames that uh, Nick has from Menace to Society. They they have already clinched the playoff spot as well. They just got to worry about their seating in their district. Trying to go for a bye, but. Here's Nick on the 10. Got it. All right, sure, All right. Juice's first shot on the right lane for score. Four, eight, ten, leave. That was pretty bad. Juice representing the Dirty South Legends out of Lilburn, Georgia. Two. So early open on a very weird lead for Juice. So I mentioned earlier that uh, Nick is trying to become a two time world champ, while Juice is trying to be the first champ we've had in a year that have had a, uh, had a successful title defense. 
The last successful world title defense was in this house last year when UBA Hall of Famer Josh Pittman from GOAT beat the Southeast champ at the time, Sean Wade. Pin lead for Nick. So that's the first. That's, a, that's the first time I've seen that. Nick shot the. <laughs> Nick shot the ten pin. Back into uh, onto the lane, onto lane five. So that's going to be uh, that was an interesting uh, sight there. Juice can put the 4 8 10 behind him. Last time he was on this lane, right adjustment made. Good shot and Juice. Juice representing the Deep South District. The district will look a little different next year. A lot of expansion going on in that area. to society for Nick Abel in Queen City is their district. And they're pretty much here in the uh, Charlotte, North Carolina area. Right. I'll 10 back for Juice. Looking for a double. Got it. Maintain his one pin lead. Yep. Juice looking for a hand bone. Got it. Perfect split of the eight nine right there.
five in a row. Ooh, ten pin. Good cover. Still time left for Juice to win his first game. Between the two, just had the one open from, from Juice so far in the second frame. Nick has been clean for all six of his frames. But Juice has, Juice has cleaned the last five. For four in a row. No, Nick leaves the 10 pin. Almost another Deadwood, but the sweep came down and caught it. So Nick still has a one pin advantage here. 248 max, 247 max for Juice. to the ninth frame, one pin match. for Juice there, left the three pin. He knew instantly that was a bad shot. Should have left the three six in, but six fell in the 10, so. Single pin spare attempt here for Juice. Seven to twenty seven is the max for the world champ. Southeast champ Nick Christie. Forty eight if he punches. Thank <laughs> you. 
that should be game one. So game one is going to go to Nick Christie in this best of seven series. Juice has, had, Juice has the right lane under control um, outside of the second frame. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, Juice keeps the same ball he's been using on the right lane or if he changes it up just to kind of get ahead. Christie 248. 248 game one. Juice can get a 227, but in these WCS matches, game count is all that matters. Pinfall is completely irrelevant. So Juice might try some stuff here, make sure he's good, but he's been throwing it really good on this right lane, so that's a great shot right there. So if you uh, heard Nick there, Nick, uh, the WCS bowlers uh, usually will do a post updating their scores on one of the UBA sites, usually Facebook pages, or on the UBA WCS Live. So it's easy to track scores for those that aren't in attendance or just to go back for reference. But being that we are here, video in this match, I'm watching it myself in person. No post needed. All right, so Nick started back off right where, right where he left off. Doing very well. Juice throwing the ball extremely well. That looked good. Great shot from Juice.
Juice started with the front two here. Let's see if Nick can keep it going. The way these two throw the ball, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a run or two at a 300 at some point. And that will not be it. So that's a, a big five count for Nick. I'm sure he'll do the right thing. Throw the three on the right. Those situations there, you just throw the three and hope you get some pin action. But when you're on a strike, you always got to make sure you get the, get the count. So this time, the early open is from Nick. for Nick here. And he got that. Yes, he did. All right, so Juice got an early advantage here. Let's see if Juice can get this turkey to start us off here. Juice doing what he does best. Another strike. He definitely, definitely needs to put the pressure. Pressure on Nick. Keep, just keep striking, Juice. Put the pressure on Nick. Let's see if we can get this uh, game two in Juice's favor. Good. There you go. That's it. That's half. Maybe a half chance. They back there talking some trash. Let's see if Nick can get back on this here. Ooh, all those spins thrown over that way and nothing knocks out the 10. Some of the uh, menace folks. Are behind me, yeah, or uh, behind me. Uh, kind of want to just fast forward to game three here. They've kind of already given this this one to Juice. Nick's got to start stringing them here. Put any kind of pressure. All right. Hey, yep, got one there. But Juice has this in this game under control, really.
Juice for front five. Ah, ring and ten. Cover from Juice. So he's on that 279 max. Nick is uh, currently nowhere near that. Both of these bowlers are very, very good. 300s out the wazoo. They probably got on. I got a hundred of them a piece. I know Withers does for sure. So these these guys need to get every game that they can because they know what their opponent is capable of. Nick needs a punch for 245. While uh, Juice is on 279 pace, he punches. So Nick needs this one to have any kind of chance of winning this game. But if you saw the last, uh, when when Juice won the world title from Jerry Didway at Mega Bowl, Juice knows where he's at. Juice is not going to make a lot of big moves or anything that could cost him a game. He's going to keep everything in front of him. Nick knows he's chasing. Okay. Got that one. Yeah, last time he had a ring and ten, but he got it good. Juice is blocking my band. It's perfect there, but it looked like a flat 10 that time. So through eight frames, Juice has six strikes. Two ten pins with sparrows on both of them. That's you. That's you. That's you. Just sitting on a 258 max. So Nick is still chasing him.
Nick for five. Mm, four or six. That's gonna be a 211 max now for or for Nick. So this next shot should make an official. The Juice wins game two. Juice representing the brands of Brunswick. All right. So that's it. As long as he keeps it on the lane, Juice wins game two. We are tied 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one after two. So game two for Nick was a mixed bag. So he just wants to get game three started. Got to try to figure out what he did wrong there in game two. I think Juice made a small adjustment on that last shot. Make sure he's still lined up. Seven, two. All right, okay. I guess you guys are to the high seed juice box right now. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right two fifty seven for juice. So you saw Nick's last shot right there was pretty awful. Nick was not even trying at that shot. He was just trying to make sure he's lined up where he thinks he needs to be here in game three. We're tied 1-1. Started here. Oh, the world champ. So this has become a best of five match.
shrimp. Flat 10. Nick smacks them single pins. He, there's still a pin in the gutter on lane five on the left side from Nick earlier. Nick's probably 150 pounds soaking wet, but he throws it like he's 300 pounds. Game three, juice is up ten. So the winner of this match will have the world title and will be defending in two months at Battle Bowl, second week of August. The loser will be the Southeast champ, so to speak, and they will be defending later this month against Hitman's own uh, Nicholas Senzoprano. And we all know him, Senzo, the elephant. He's already put both these guys on notice that regardless, he'll be the one bowling at Battle Bowl. But first things first for these two. So, and we're on an early 290 pace, 300 pace. the lily but the five and ten fell out so juice just got to throw it at a seven Juice is currently 279. Max for the shrimp. 
shrimp shading is 290. So we got two DSL uh, team members here in uh, Juice's corner. Claudia Meeks and Leonard Smith are in the building. event is taking place. Being where uh, Menace is located here in the, this is, we are bowling in the uh, Queen City District. So he's he's got more than uh, his fair share of supporters on hand. Got some hitmen in the building as well. Flat ten. So through six frames, Nick's got the upper hand here. Last time, Juice left the seven pin on lane four. This time, the ten. for juice. Juice put the pressure. That was a great shot. That was a pretty good look. Got a little out a little bit more than he had previously on lane three, but it looked really good. Six in a row.
Big up, nice shot, Juice. Automatic on lane three this game. Both his fourth and sixth were obviously on the right lane. But Nick is in the spot where he can close it out. Close the game out here early. So all Nick has to do here is keep it on the lane. And he will have uh, game three in his favor. I think the odds of Nick not keeping the ball on the lane are pretty small. All right. We are 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one, Nick. We're just going to finish game out, game three out officially. He can get 259, but it's irrelevant. Total pins do not matter. And Nick will take the 2 1 lead going into game four. And Nick will be the one starting us off.
So game four has started the way that most of the games have started with the early strikes. Almost a 7 10 leave, 10 falls out. Double for Nick. over Nick. That shot looked great. He left the left the seven last time, but he 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 killed that pocket that time. Very nice. So through four two eighty pace for Mr. Withers, Miss, Mr. Christie got the front three. Ten pin miss, uh, leave. I'm sorry. Nick threw a pin over there that just kept spinning at it, but never touched it. So now Juice has the advantage here in game four.
fifth frame for Juice. Nice strike from Juice. Juice for four in a row. So Nick, Max score 279. He's going to need to, he, he can't leave nothing else. Wow, okay, that, um, yeah, we about had one of those uh, pins stand back up there. But Nick has fallen further behind here in this game. Just got to make sure he covers this up. And it's going to be a huge advantage for Juice here in game four. And he got it. Two forty-eight. No, excuse me. Two sixty-eight is the max for Nick. Juice is still at two eighty. Okay, so game uh, four here. In Juice's favor now. Ooh. A three pin went behind the four. It was a good run at it. So now you get 243 max for Mr. Christie. Mr. Withers on that 280 pace through six. and back from Charles Withers. He's throwing it really well today. He threw it well in the gauntlet and this carried into this match. Seven fell out for him. So that, almost like it hit a spot out there. It took off a little funny for him going left. So yes, we are 2-2 now. We're mathematically impossible for 
Nick to win this game. So we're going to be 2-2. Juice will uh, we'll finish it up. But game four is Juice. We're 2-2. That uh, practice shot from Nick there was pretty good. Nick was re reminding, yeah, Nick reminded everybody he's the one that brought the world title. And, and Nick's the one that brought the world title to the South five years ago. So we got some nice uh, C Swag Menace uh, trash talk going on in the building.
Game five underway. The world champ, Charles Withers, has left the nine pin. But that's easy. No problem for Juice. These guys are tied 2-2 two -two here. Game five in this best of seven series. Tripping fours, tripping fours on lane four. Last shot on game four on lane three. Hit, hit some kind of weird spot there, and it looked like he hit it again there where it just kind of. Nick say yes, this is a money match. And Christy said he is not he's, Christy is not worried about losing to Sento either. But we're still we're still in game five. So as Nick was saying, that worst case scenario, if he leaves here the Southeast champ. Best case scenario, he leaves with the world title, but Juice is trying to keep it. Ooh. Don't know what pin that was that rolled over there and took it out, but it did. Yeah, that looked like a big four, and it looked like a four six. But just a four pin leave. I get spare from Nick. So we got a little bit of noise coming from the menace side now. Juice has two C Swag supporters in the building. Former cruiserweight, former cruiserweight champ Scott Lawrence, 
was in a cruiserweight match beside these guys. And um, so both the C-Swag people in the building are going for juice. It's an eight count. Eight count for juice. That's worse than a shirt and sauce leftover. <laughs> juice got to cover this 2-4. All right, good cover from juice. Through five frames, we're on a 269 max for Mr. Christie. And a 268 max for Mr. Withers. We're tied 2-2, game five. Just a recap. Nick Bolden, a PBA regional. About 20, 30 minutes from here. Wow, Juice pulled the gauntlet that was here. So Juice got uh, some extra reps in the house today. But this is also um, uh, Queen City uh, home house. So Nick has bowled here before. But that's just how these guys start their day. Both of these guys don't need a lot of reps at a new center for them or that day. They're both really, really good. And kick the 10 out. Very nice. So one thing we noticed with this house is it shoots messengers. And then this game, Juice is taking advantage of them the most. But... He's trailing in this match right now. Mm, that came in light. Left the two. Charles Withers, one of the uh, main bowlers for the Dirty South Legends out of the Deep South District. Deep South resides out of Lilburn, Georgia. Oh. All right, so Nick follows up. Um, Juice's seventh frame with a it's like two, four, five. So now this is going to be game five is going to be in Juice's favor. from Nick. Yeah. 
That's a big shot here from Juice. Strike here, puts him up too. Through eight, here in game five, Juice is up too. So far, it's gone Nick, Juice, Nick, Juice. Juice is trying to end that trend here with the two point lead. First up in the ninth. Flat ten. So now this could swing back in Nick's favor, depending on how Nick does in the ninth frame. Nick has taken the lead here in game five. Nick is a max, 246, 246 max, 228 is the max for Juice. So Nick strikes here be at 225. C-Dub strikes out, he's at 228. So Nick needs a good shot here to force Juice to double. Mm, flat 10, but it's all right, 224 for Nick. Pinfall right there really did not matter, Juice. He's the double. Mm, and the ten pin right there. So we are now 3-2. Southeast champ Nick Christie has the advantage. 3-2 through five. So I don't know if you can see a bit of frustration from Juice there. Um, left the 10 pin a lot more than he wanted to so far, but he's at least been sparing them. But the way that game swung, swung Nick Christie's favor. So we're still on a Nick Juice, Nick Juice, Nick. They're alternating games, so we're going to game six. With the former world champ, current Southeast champ, Nick Christie, up 3-2. Juice is very capable, very, very capable of winning two. I would not be surprised if this don't go game seven. Talked about this earlier too. 
Withers is trying to become the first world champion here to successfully defend the title. No one has had a successful title defense since Josh Pittman last year. Hall of Famer Josh Pittman. GOAT team member. Double for juice. Yes, sir. Both guys doubling. I told you this game is going to go down. Match Nick. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Smack the hell out of the pocket and left the A pin. So well, this is the first one to not strike in this game. But there are still seven frames left, and these guys are capable of catching fire at any time. Fourth frame for juice. Okay, if you're gonna, gonna do that off of a spare is a little bit easier than a strike. So Juice still got a chance at a really good game here. It's just gonna be Nick has the lead. Nice cover. So Charles, 68, I believe, is his max. Wow, 300 is still possible for Nick until he big force. Deadwood. All right. So 
262. Nick's got to strike out 262, so he is now trailing. He is now trailing Juice, who is at 68, Max. Uh, there's that uh, nice uh, messenger getting flung across, taking out the 10 pin for Nick. Both these guys have had that happen plenty of times. It's funny how bowling works sometimes. Through four frames, Juice has had two bad frames. But he's in the lead. Nick's had one bad frame, and he's trailing. Nine pin now. So just like that, the max score wise, Nick is back in control here game six. Already up three two. Sixth frame for Juice. Barry, that one. A nice little kick out of that seven pin. So Nick is still on a 262 max. Withers is chasing, but when we thought that Nick had this game locked, he went and left the big four there in the fourth. So So now Juice is back in the lead. Mm -hmm. Nick covered up the spare. Juice bury that one. The loser of this match will be defending or going for, however you want to look at it, the Southeast heavyweight title against Nick Christie. I'm sorry, against uh, Nicholas Senzo Prano. Senzo is uh, everybody refers to him as from uh, Hitman, a uh, powerful lefty. He is waiting for his shot at the Southeast belt and that'll take place here in the next couple weeks. As we are counting down the opportunities for these guys to get in the north south match at Battle Bowl for the next shot at the world title. All right, so anything less than a, a strike from Nick is going to put Juice in a really good. Uh, Scenario here for game six. Oh. 
The two pin stayed up. Wow. That ball looked like it slow rolled on him a little bit. I don't know if he tried to slow it down or what happened there, but it, it didn't look that good going down the lane from uh, this angle. I am off a lane or so to the left of these gentlemen. That's all right. So barring a complete, utter disaster. A complete, utter disaster. We're going to be headed to game seven. Juice just needs to keep this frame clean here, and we are moving to game seven. Yeah. All right, that'll clinch it. So we are going to game seven. Which they've alternated games. Whoever started each mat, each game has lost. So that's a trend that Juice is going to have to break in game seven if he's going to retain the world title. Hey, So we got a $100 bet on this match from uh, Jonard from Menace and Scott from C-Swag. Obviously, Jonard is... Jo Jonard obviously betting $100 on his guy. Scott Lawrence. Scott Lawrence betting a hundred dollars on juice. So, yeah, Nick is uh, kind of taking offense to uh, some of the C-Swag bowlers in the building that have, uh, I guess, been talking in his backswing. I can't confirm or deny that part, but uh, just a little frustrated at the moment. Just a little frustrated here, and, and Nick's, uh, Nick's going to have to channel that into kicking, kicking some ass. All right, 256, 226. But the important thing is we are going. We are going to game seven, world title. 3-3. Three, three. All right. 
right. Yeah, so nobody's uh, really harassing Juice. Nobody's harassing Juice while he's uh, bowling, but um, Nick is hearing a little bit from from the peanut gallery here. And hopefully game seven. So game seven here. Just getting a little wild here. Game seven, the winner moves on to Battle Bowl in April, I mean August, excuse me. Then the loser will be facing Sento. Uh, beautiful strike there from Nick. Ten pin lead from Withers. Wasn't the, pu um, the prettiest strike from Juice, but he struck. is the max for Nick, 280 max for Juice. They're still really, really early here, but we are in game seven, so the margin for error has shrunk drastically. Cover from Nick. And a flat ten there from Nick, uh, from Juice, rather. So these two had a chance to drop, to jump on the other, but it's like they're slow playing it almost, it feels like.
So Juice through four has a two pin advantage. so far. Mm, messenger missed the 10, came in front of it. So Nick struck in the six. So he 36 and 90 with 2150, 247. 247 is the max for Nick. 260. Ooh, wow. That nine pin almost stayed, but it fell. Strike here is on 13. Ooh. And flat 10. So the door opens right back. Almost left the two four five five fell out, so two four. I don't think any way we cut it, it's, it's gonna go down to the tenth. Juice is currently up 12. Nick had a chance to take it from him. Did not capitalize in the seventh. Ten back. All right. Back. Juice decides to not strike. And Juice has to throw a four pin. So 
So now Juice covers this up, strikes out. He's on 228 as a max. Nick is on a 227 max. Here we go, ninth and tenth. This is going to set up for all the pressure to be on Juice here in the tenth. See if um, Juice is spared the last two. He really needs to strike here. And he does. Four, six, ten leaves is going to be it, I believe. So I think Nick just really got worked up. With uh, everything going on. But now Nick's is on, Nick is on a 195 uh, max. And um, Deuce is on a strike. So barring something crazy. So this has been a uh, thrilling match. The uh, crowd getting, uh, getting, getting on Nick a little bit. So, yeah, so Nick has come to the realization that yeah, he's definitely out of this. Senzo will be up on his agenda to try to hold on to the Southeast belt until we get the Battle Bowl. But your winner. And the first successful defense in over a year now of the world title goes to DSL's own Charles Withers. Juice. First time over a year representing the Dirty South Legends, representing Deep South District, and was able to do what he needed to do today and successfully defended. Charles Withers, yeah, I won't call you Charles again. I probably Juice, Ju it's all good. Juice, I appreciate you uh, today. Uh, put on the show. Y'all went through seven games. Um, Nick got a little frustrated, flustered there, but um, you know, y'all kept y kept your cool. You did your thing. That's the most important thing. And so you were the first one in over a year to successfully defend the world heavyweight belt. Um, tell me your thoughts on the match. Well, like I said, I knew when coming in, me and Nick was going to be a great match. I mean. He's beat me twice already the times we bowled in the World Series. I mean, one time he beat me average 276 on me for all four games. So I was like, I knew I had to come in and strike and do the best I can. Like you said, yeah, was the altercation happened in the back, but things happened. I was just telling Nick, let's just stay focused and put on the match. And so, I mean, as we see, we was talking the 
middle of the lanes got just real touchy where the ball wouldn't want to hook and then when you miss one right, it just duck hook. So we was just fighting the same thing. That's why I just balled up just in case I wanted to kind of play inside a little bit. I still had a hold and a big ace him to recover for me. Yep. So you did you did a, a great job doing that. We saw like it felt like a puddle kind of out there for a little bit. Um, it uh, kind of started on three and then it kind of felt like y'all ended up doing the same thing on four. Um, I know you were struggling with leaving 10 pins a lot, too. I, I could tell you were uh, emo getting a little emotional with that. Have you left that many 10 pins like that before? Yeah. You remember um, when I bowled Jerry at Mega Bowl? Remember oh, yeah, Mega Bowl, yeah. yeah. You left 10 pins out the wazoo. Both left out the zoo, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, it's all about making spares, man. Like, like um, what's his name? Scott was saying, I mean, when it comes to this World Series and bowling for the belt, man, making spares makes the difference, so. Yep, spares make the difference. So now you're in the you're in the driver's seat. We're headed to uh, Battle Bowl here in August. Uh, now Nick has to defend the Southeast Belt against Senzo. Um, how you see that playing out, righty versus lefty? Um, I just think it's going to be a real good match. Um, depending on the house, do you know where the house is going to be at? Where they going? Um, I would imagine it's going to be where they. So they're so, the so they're probably somewhere in Greensboro, High Point, somewhere in there. I think it's going to be a good match, Greensboro. Yeah, I mean. Nick strikes a lot there. Of course, Senzo strikes a lot there. Lefty strike a lot there. I just, it's going to be a good match. I, I believe that match is going to go seven games, too. Yeah, well, we appreciate the show you guys put on and the excellent bowling y'all did. And uh, congratulations representing the district again, too, man. Appreciate Thanks, it. Sir. No problem.